Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII where it turns out, after extensive research, um, I'm boned. <laughs> I do not have, nobody has the Remedy 3, which is what you need to cure. It says specifically Asuna cannot cure it. The only cure really is a save crystal, which is all the freaking way back there. Oh my gosh, she's about to die. I just noticed also the timer is going, like, mentioned there's a timer above their heads. Just noticed that. Uh, so I think the party for now is gonna have to be, oh no, they, they all, they all have doom on them. Hang on. It, and it says it does not go away upon, like, death, you know? Like, coming back. I, I don't know. I don't know if I can run all the way back. Maybe if the timer runs out. And then they die? Maybe I should do that. Let's see. Ash was about to die. Are you gonna, are you gonna die? No? Are you just gonna... What? You're just gonna have doom on you forever? Uh, okay, there she goes. And she still has doom? Even though she died from doom? Holy moly, I might... Well, the thing is, as I was thinking, I can try to keep going and hope... I think there should be a save crystal after this since, there's a, since it's a boss room. But... For now, we'll just have Vaughn <laughs> Maybe see, it's good. It's a good thing that I leave Vaughn behind and don't bring him out on anything. I was hoping some of these ruins would have little secrets for me. Not just, not just treasures, but you know, little little poems, little, little words for me. Yeah, okay. Please. Please be a save, Crystal, on the other side. <laughs> it would be so mean if they didn't. Oh, that is so mean. Look at that. Hey, what am I trying to do here? I am so scared. I think this, no, the strikers are mean. Um, what I'm gonna do is, what is it? Now, what is it that yeah. makes you go... Dang it, I just knew this. What was it? I'm in big trouble. I'm in big, big trouble. Okay, so, whew, the fact that I was going to scream because I did die trying to run through that hallway. Um, you know, I might just cast... I have an invisibility mode. If, I, if it works, I could cast it on this guy. And we could try to flee through. He has plenty of health. Like I went through and I gave him more health. But wah, we are just Can I Can I knock up Okay, so cause it said temptation eluded in the safe. Temptation eluded, yeah. So is that, I can't go back through that area? Can I fast travel to a, I can't fast travel because I don't have any freaking whatever things that you need to fast travel. Okay, whew, it's because I was fleeing. Yeah, I just need to go to the save crystal I think that I know is there. Because the game is evil didn't put one outside a boss room. This could totally be a massive waste, but I... Here I go, you know? Also, apparently, can I... What? It turns me visible? Okay, nope, 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 nope. Just, just kill me now. I'm not wasting it on that. What's the point of that? What's the point of that? What's the point of an invisibility mode? If it doesn't let you run around being invisible with, like, if you don't... 
I tag something, you know? Like, it's like as soon as, like, it's fine. Like, I get it if you tag something, you become not invisible anymore, right? But... That seemed unnecessary. Okay, wait. It cannot end us. Did... Okay, no way. It did. Okay, they were fine. They are fine when they come back. I'm making a big deal out of nothing. Jeez. Why? Oh, maybe it's because the KO and the Doom are the exact same symbol. Is that what? Because I keep when it has the the X and the skull. I thought that was saying that it was Doom. It apparently is not. Okay. Well then, we're fine. <laughs> I can just bring. I can bring everybody back. We can keep going. Oh shoot! Okay, because I was I was like I was curious about these side rooms. I was like, all right, I'll just go with these two. See really quick, what's going on? Um, I don't know if I can open this, but this is the aesthetic store. It's not for you. You wore it, drone. So I think I'm supposed to on this one. Like, go around something? Maybe go, like, east to west, like the way the sun rises, right? Like, or I don't know, maybe, just gotta, maybe it's not that hard. I just gotta beat all the bosses in here. It looks like there's a little bit more of a path on the east side. This looks like it just loops us back. I think I came to this side before. I mean, there's this boss here, which is like, to me, like the heavens. I feel like there should be another one somewhere. Maybe we'll keep going down. I want to know the mystery. I suppose I could just look it up, but... That's not fun. Oh, I thought this looked like the map things from before. We now have a map. I, although, let me see if that actually does us any good. <laughs> yeah, no. I did. I decided to come all the way over to here. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, this is not useful. I've already done all of this. But there's this mysterious Hall of the Wrath God. This was Hall of Shadow Light. Temptation eluded. Chamber of the Chosen. It looks like I could just keep going. Maybe, well, no. We have no obvious route. Oh, maybe if I go into this section, go into that circular one, like the central one, and go down, I can get into that little bit and see what's in there. Because that's on the opposite side of the pilgrim's door, which is just south of the little nub. But I might not be able to get in. It's probably just another pilgrim store. It's like, you can't get in. Useful, useful. Now I don't feel the need to go over there. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, that's right. We were having issues getting across because there's all this water. There's water. I don't think there's a way around it. Oh, I wonder... This is probably super obvious. I don't know. Wonder if I'm go if I'm go from um through. I'm gonna try to go through because right now I'm blocked with the waterfall right here at this choke point. So if I go through the one that's second from the right, loop up and come down that middle one, maybe. But I might still be blocked by waterfalls. Yeah, still blocked by waterfalls. Okay, because I'm a modern gamer and I lack the patience of the prehistoric ancestor gamers who came before me and didn't have walkthroughs to look at online, uh, I'm gonna look at a walkthrough online. <laughs> I want to specifically just look up how to get to the Hall of the Wrath God, and I want to get 
I want to get to the pilgrim store and the aesthetic store, and I don't know how to. There's something maybe about like walking in circles, like walking. But I don't know. I haven't seen any like buttons I could push on any of these like these like rounded rooms. I haven't seen anything that I recognize. And I've walked up to like the central like openings that they have that have like circular things in them. I'm trying to see if those have anything in them for me to do anything with. Maybe all I have to do really is keep going, honestly. But the fact that this is called Temptation Eluded makes me feel like I'm missing. I'd be missing out. So I'm gonna cheat because I want to know the secrets. I was right. It was. Okay, this is not actually. Well, it's part of the Hall of the Roth God. I was right. You do have to go counterclockwise. Or clockwise, rather, not counterclockwise. Through the destiny. Like, uh. The circular clock looking. Right there. Yeah, that one. That's to get the aesthetic store open. Apparently, though, we cannot access this yet. We need, like, a key from some sort of haunt, which means I'm probably never going to do it. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, but I want to unlock the puzzles. I was right. I should have trusted my instincts and just tried it. Yeah, it's the east to the west following the rising... I don't know. Is it going the other... No, it's going down. Well, okay. I would have, I would have, yeah, I would have been just gone in circles, east to west, but I would have gone a slightly different way first. <laughs> well, I've run around in circles like three times, and I'm going from the three to the six to the nine to the twelve, like it says to go. Oh, it might be because I don't have the other part. I just wanted to like have the door open because apparently the boss behind it is like really really high level so I wasn't gonna like actually open the door but that's apparently the issue is that I don't have the key to open the door maybe I don't know at this point I don't care let's see how to open pilgrim's door <laughs> mm. I don't know that seems like late game stuff too so Maybe I shall not worry about it, and I shall just move on. <laughs> if the other one's a high-level thing. This one was like, from what I can tell, it's just going to be like a treasure chest. But now that I've spent so much time in here, I just want to go. Just want to progress things. I am very happy to have the map, though. That did that did help. Where I was like, I don't really know what's going on. If you make me fight this thing again, <laughs> I'll be so angry. Phew. Oh, jeez. Oh my God, that's that scared me. just realized I've been doing Ash pretty dirty on the health. She was at like 1200 and everybody else was significantly higher. I was like, oh, because I'm like, she dies so fast. But like, not too bad. It wasn't too bad, but I was like, oh, she's kind of dying faster than anybody else. Even like way faster than Penelo. To be fair, I bring Penelo out everywhere. So she's like mega over leveled for, for the squad. But... <laughs> Um, that's all good. <laughs> well, this is pleasant sounding. Sounds like there should be a little shopkeeper or something. <laughs> Ash is like, mm, I don't know about that. But I'll do it. I think everybody just looks so great. This is like the most awkward silence. Penelo's like, I don't know how to talk to these people. And Ash and Bosch are just like, uh, like Bosch doesn't know how to talk to people. 
Ash is like, um, I don't really know how to talk to you in particular. <laughs> I realize it's just through animations, but that's what it looks like to me. It's just everybody being like, uh. Oh my gosh. The crystal. The acolyte's burden. Yeah, it has been a burden. Thank you. 69. Nice. <laughs> Oh, why? Finally, Riga Pinello has been struggling to get her MP back up. I love the tech in this. Like, seeing some, like, rewatching some of the stuff that I was watching, like, the earlier episodes. Uh, was in, like, seeing the sky ships and stuff. It's just so cool. It's the big reason I, I wanted to play this one. What's, what's out here then? Hopefully where we wanted to go, popping out into the place, the Arcades. Yes, maybe? Or close. Ooh. Ooh. Smells less like a capital, more like a sewer. Even empires have need of sewers. The runner from Arcades proper pools here. Those who lack papers to live in the city itself. The mighty who have fallen, and the fallen who would be mighty. Their eyes never leave Arcades. I guess it must be a lot nicer than this place. Oh, to be sure. Arcades reeks of a different filth. Mm -hmm. Let's be off. We can follow our noses to Draclo. And freaking, what's freaking Vaughn wanted to say? Like, he's lived in a city, but apparently this is a slum more than a city. Old Arcades, that makes sense. It's off in the older. Oh, wow! That's like an actual skyscraper city. Wow! I didn't know that was going to be here. The only cities we've been in are ones that are like old, like, stone fortresses type things. That was cool. But no, yeah, freaking Balthe years over here dropping truth, like... Oh, the, for one thing, yes, if you're going to have an empire, a true empire, you're going to have a sewage system. A true empire, air quotes. Um, but like I think I've mentioned many times before, one of the old, older definitions of civilization, which is not really a word that's used much anymore because it, it's outdated, uh, like at least not in any like serious way, you know, like I'll use it in casual conversations for some things, but like, not like, uh, the idea of like the like the linear progression is like just and like the idea like that everything pinnacles at like a Western idea of civilization is an outdated mode of thinking. Um, but what is useful for like certain um, typologies is classifying whether or not there's like a centralized government system of government. Uh, I can't remember the other ones except <laughs> off the top of my head. But the other one of the very specific ones is. Um, having, um, basically having a sewage system, or having, like, indoor plumbing of some sort. Okay, I just was looking it up because I was curious. It's, again, this is one of the reasons that it was, it's kind of an outmoded, like, mode of thinking, is that nobody can really agree. <laughs> and I thought I remembered that, but I was like, no, surely they had a system in place, and I'm just thinking of something a little older. No. I mean, there's some things. Uh, one of the things is, like, a uh, large... Uh, centralized population centers, monumental architecture, unique art styles, shared communication strategies, um, a complex division of labor and like uh, stratification in class, and like basically like job specializations um, where like not everybody makes their own food, right? That's a big thing. Where, like, and a centralized like food supply, essentially. Um, Public works, which is somebody saying here, public works and writing, which writing is a pretty big one. Uh, but again, you can say all of these, and always, there's that YouTube channel that talks about it too. The exception of the rule is the Mongols. Like, they are, that's why people were like, that was one of, not why, but that was one of the reasons people were like, the idea of civilization as like a very like linear progression and like a very specific set of rules is outdated because you have to say it's all these things. Except for the Mongols, <laughs> because they had a continent-spanning empire 
And they had like, and they had like that very early like version, essentially like I think the first version, essentially of like the Pony Express, like a very like a codified specific like set of like like uh, stables and houses along the way that would like get messages throughout the empire faster than just like sending like a random courier. Like there was like a system of like horses and riders in place to like take messages o across the empire, you know. Um, and anyway, I'm getting distracted, <laughs> but um, anyway, basically some sort of sewage or plumbing is, is often what people look for in like large congregations of cities to indicate like a centralized, you know, power structure, uh, people living in close quarters with like hygienic, you know, programs in place, you know, at least a, an attempt <laughs> at hygienic programs, but anyway. You need sewer systems, they're very important, but that's not going to be fun to walk through. So, <laughs> but thank you all so much for joining me right now, I appreciate it. I'm not going to pause it, that, it goes like dead, dead silence, it's a little weird. But thank you all for joining me, I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Skelita, my staff and tier patron, thank you so much for your support. And an extra special, I'm so sorry, an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support, my friend. I very much appreciate it. I always hiccup at the end. I don't know why. Um, and I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who's gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I cannot thank you enough. Truly, it means a heck of a lot. So thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one.